Black Adam looks like it's going to be a monster hit. And Kal-El is returning. The white Kal-El. What to make of all this? Well, I'm a pretty big Snyder person. But it's interesting, even the channels that are pro-Snyder, surprisingly moderate on this breaking news. So what is occurring? Well, Dwayne The Rock Johnson basically confirmed what we kind of already knew. It was already there. It's pretty obvious that he wanted Henry back. The fans wanted Henry back. Snyder wanted Henry back. But Warner Brothers, not so much. It's not even clear why. I mean, I understand that Warner Brothers really only wanted the Snyder Cut for money. There was no real promise the Snyder verse would continue. But you'd have to be pretty stupid not to see the writing on the wall that Henry Cavill is massively popular, especially after The Witcher. They would just continue Superman just for the money. But no, it took six years just to get us here. Pretty stunning. So we're going to let The Rock speak for himself. I feel that this serves not only Black Adam, but it serves the larger DC universe. But man, more importantly than that, it takes care of the fans. And that's what you want your lead foot to be. So, it, yes, phone calls, meetings, but man, it was years. It, this was six years to get that done. I'm going to say that again. Six years we first started talking about this, and they kept saying no. Now that leadership isn't there anymore. Because <laughs> we usher in a new era in the DC Universe, and we usher out. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting turn of events. So Brendan Fraser has also confirmed that Warner Brothers sabotaged them, stabbed them in the back, and now The Rock is confirming, yeah, Warner Brothers kind of uh, dragged their feet. Overall, if you're a Snyder fan, you've been vindicated. You've been vindicated now for the fifth time that the real problem here has always been Warner Brothers, the executives, and thankfully, a lot of them have been fired. And it looks like the Hamadaverse is about to go bye-bye. Now, does that mean the Snyderverse is coming back? Maybe, maybe not. Clearly, there's going to be a readjusting period. Zack is very busy with Rebel Moon, so it'll be a while before he even returns to the, quote, the DC universe in any strong sense. But in terms of the Snyder legacy, it apparently will continue. I mean, again, for the money, but it will continue. So it's better than nothing. But I would like, not an apology, but I do find it weird how when we're accounting for all this, that the Snyder cult, the so-called Snyder cult, is being blamed for this, even now. Because after Batgirl was canceled, the Snyder bros were obligated to help out the Batgirl directors. You might ask why, because this is a Hamada project. That doesn't make any sense. Also, from the Warner Brothers perspective, there is no Snyder cult. There is no Snyder movement. Apparently, these were all robots mobilized by Zack Snyder. It was an invisible online army. Maybe there were a handful of weirdos and crazy people trying to do charity drives, putting their time in, doing cosplay, putting on all these protests. Yeah, there's a bunch of weirdos. No more than 50 people. It's really Zack Snyder and his Russian robots controlling the narrative. But luckily, Warner Brothers and Rolling Stone broke the story that there is no Snyder Cup movement. Okay, so be it. Apparently, I'm a non-existent robot. Just an android living on some server in the Ukraine or something. Okay, so be it. And then simultaneously, the Snyder Bros who don't exist, they need to get Batgirl back into production. Even though Brendan Fraser is pretty clear, it's not a Snyder Cut movement issue. It's not a Snyder issue. It's not a Snyder Bro issue. It's a Warner Brothers issue. He even directly named the executive behind all this malicious interference. And when he said the filmmakers can't be trusted, he didn't mean the directors. He meant Warner Brothers Studios. So it's Warner Brothers Studios that needs to get Batgirl back on track. Why does the Snyder Bro movement that doesn't exist need to get it back on track? I don't know. So that's where we are. So the Snyder Bros are going to have to pay for Black Adam. And they're going to have to pay for a whole lot of other things. And at the same time, they're going to be labeled one, racist, two, non-existent robots, and three, masterminded by Zack Snyder, I don't know, from the Fortress of Solitude. So I don't expect any apology from Warner Brothers. They are who they are. They're going to do some good things with Dune and House of the Dragon, for money, of course. But they're going to do the usual bad things and just slap you in the face even as they take your money. I understand. It's a business. It is what it is. But still... I don't, again, I don't want an apology, but at least an acknowledgement of who is really guilty and who's innocent. Maybe Zack did cross the line a few times to get the Snyder Cut going. 
Maybe some people in the Snyder Cut movement have not always been the nicest, best people. But overall, it seems the Snyder Cut movement has been vindicated. It's mostly good people. There are a few extremists, but overall, I'm proud I did what little I could to get the Snyder Cut going, and we got a great movie out of it. I don't expect an apology or even gratitude. But why are we getting blamed for the Batgirl and other failures? And we also are being told we don't even exist. I don't know. It's a metaphysical conundrum, but eh, maybe it's time for forgiveness. Black Adam is coming. Superman is coming. It's a lot of good stuff in the pipeline, so should be grateful. But so, I don't know. It gets, it's, it's very weird to be simultaneously accused of being the most powerful, evil, fascist cult in the universe by Maggie Mayfish and the socialist, queer leftist people and the right wing fascist fanatic people think Zack Snyder destroyed the DCEU because. I don't know. Wonder Woman had too much agency. And Superman wasn't masculine enough. I don't know. It's a very weird time to live in to be a Snyder Cut movement fan and just a Snyder fan. To be simultaneously the most powerful people in the universe and just robots who don't exist. I don't know. It's weird. But that is the Warner Brothers narrative. But hopefully that will be changing soon. Because, you know, at the end of the day, do they do want money. So hopefully they'll be changing the tune and at least be more welcoming to the Zack Snyder fandom soon enough.